Hi, I'm Rajvi and uh, here actually I want to share uh, something really very important. Uh, now that there are less than two months left for your NEET PG. Uh, so this video is mainly focused on trying to help you all what you all should do during your uh, last two months of preparation not just study wise also about other things too so yes i've written it down on a paper so that i don't miss out on any point so this is also how you should learn uh, like you should try to write or whatever plan you make you should write it down on a paper so that it gets imprinted in your mind and uh, yeah you are able to work on it more better uh, so yes i will start Uh, yes, I have written it down on a paper. So first, starting with uh, your final two months of preparation, the most important is it is to have a positive mindset. Having a positive mindset, positive mindset, it is very very important because. Uh, even if you study a lot, if your mind is not positive or it is uh, anxious or stressed or uh, it is not clear, you won't be able to solve how much you have read in your paper. So having a positive mindset, it is really very, very important. Uh, first thing is, abhi need ke liye, there are only two months, less than two months left. So first thing that you have to do, it is to make it sure and firm in your mind ki you have to crack your NEET exam with a good rank in this uh, year itself. Matlab, uh, this should be your final and final attempt and you should not keep a plan B ki next year bhi try kar lenge agar nahi hua to this should not be in your mind. So first is make it very very clear in your mind ki this NEET or no other NEET. Even if you are lagging in your preparation, I would say ki have a positive mindset and uh, why not dream big. Matlab ho bhi sakta hai, even if you haven't studied that much or to that point, you should at least keep a positive mindset and a proper aim ki this need should be my final need preparation. So, now that this is sure in your mind, this thing is sure then is you have to have a purpose and an intention ki why you want to actually uh, get a good rank for which branch for which college or for like how how good a rank do you want and mainly for which branch and which college and ultimately how do you see yourself so this is one of the stepping stone need pg is just one of the path to take you there so it will like uh, give you more motivation and enforce your preparation when you know that your this preparation of two months will affect your uh, rest of your life. So that way your preparation will be more boosted. Uh, so yes, so that is one thing. You should have a clear purpose and an intention ki I want a good rank and why do I want a good rank? Which branch do I want? Then. Uh, uh, now we now they have told that NEET will be in coming March but if if in case they change the dates you should be able to adapt and accept so this is the second point that you should be able to adapt to any change because you, uh, there should be also one thing in the mind that ye uh, jo change aap face koro everybody else is also going through the same change so everybody is in the same boat so that should not be affecting you much because everyone uh, will write the exam on the same date. Hai? So this is done. Then uh, second is uh, letting go of all of your fear, stress and anxiety. Mm. So this part is very important. Matlab, if you, if your mind is pure and uh, it is... Uh, without any fear or anxiety or stress you will be able to study more and study well and retain more retain well and uh, you will see it in your output as, as well so for me uh, i used to meditate because it would work wonders for me it has helped me keep my calm and my focus 
so you all can also start meditation or some activity which relieves you of uh, your stress or anxiety at least for that uh, that that much time when you are in that uh, activity so yes let go of all your fears and your anxiety then planning your day till the next neat exam planning your days matlab here you should uh, make a big timetable i i had made my own timetable on a calendar uh, of uh, so now you have from jan jan 17 till march 12 तो ये कैलेंडर्स ऑन द कैलेंडर्स विच विथ दीज डेट्स यू शुड राइट योर सब्जेक्ट और वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू ऑन दैट डे मेजरली ऑन दैट डे सो इट शुड बी रिटर्न डाउन ऑन अ कैलेंडर टिल योर एग्जाम डेट एंड द लास्ट ट्वेल्व डेज ऑफ योर एग्जाम इलेवन डेज ऑफ योर एग्जाम दैट इज अ डिफरेंट बॉल गेम तो फॉर दैट आई विल मेक अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू Uh, plan and uh, how to study and what to study in the last eleven or ten days of your exam. But at least till the end of Feb, you should have a timetable made. Which major subjects will you complete? What will you do majorly in that day? So uh, why to write it on a calendar? Because it will give you a relief and a sense of confidence. Ki uh, you know that there is some direction and you are not just reading halfway. Me. ठीक है ना बिकॉज इफ़ यू हैव अ टाइम टेबल इन योर माइंड विच इज फॉर अ वीक और अ मंथ और लॉन्ग टर्म इट 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 मेक्स यू बिलीव दैट इट इज अचीवेबल इवन दो यू आर नॉट एबल टू लाइक अचीव योर एवरी डे गोल्स इन द लॉन्ग टर्म यू नो कि अचीव यू कैन अचीव इट बाय द एंड ऑफ फेब so plan it out plan all your days in the timetable well then micro planning so you have to plan each day and make a schedule for each day so uh, i for me uh, yes i have made a made a video on my daily routine which i followed this was especially for the last two months of preparation so in uh, so planning each day is important because when you plan each day it is just a set of pattern of things which you do like waking up at uh, 5 am and then from 5 am to directly 10 am you are studying your notes 10 am breakfast like that so if you follow this it becomes a routine and a discipline so it gets imprinted in your subconscious and you do it repetitively so uh, it drives up away the laziness and uh, you are on track for the rest of your two months theek hai so you have to plan each day so that by the end of the of your feb you are uh, pumped up with a with a discipline and a proper timetable for each day and it becomes effortless and it is like your second nature by then by mid of feb Yes, and uh, there will be days when you don't feel like uh, studying, or you're not hundred percent productive uh, of uh, solving MCQs or reviewing or anything. So, I would say that don't make it a day. It should be just an hour. If you like, for example, uh, uh, tomorrow if I wake two hours late than my normal routine time, yes, I will. I will feel bad that I wasted two of my precious morning hours of study, but then I have to start afresh. Not waste the entire day thinking that I wasted my two hours. So uh, you should count every hour as a new hour uh, for more improvement towards your main goal. And always remember, whatever you study, each hour counts. मतलब uh, you never know what you studied yesterday in your evening. maybe that can come in the final main neat exam so every hour counts don't keep it as a day wasted it should be just an hour or uh, 30 minutes of wastage of time aisa 
सो डोंट वेस्ट योर होल डे इफ यू वेस्ट एन आवर और टू आवर्स और थ्री आवर्स दैट इज फाइन डोंट वेस्ट द एंटायर डे यू स्टिल हैव अदर इफ यू वेस्ट थ्री आवर्स यू स्टिल हैव योर ट्वेंटी वन आवर्स रिमेनिंग तो एवरी आर एंड एवरी मिनट काउंट्स फ्रॉम नाउ एंड नाउ दैट देर आर ओनली टू मंथ्स ऑफ प्रेपरेशन आई वुड से कि नाव यू शुड ट्राई नॉट टू फील कि आई डोंट फील लाइक स्टार्टिंग और ये सब का टाइम नहीं है अभी यू शुड गिव योर थाउजेंड परसेंट नाउ हाँ देन इज यू हैव टू बी सराउंडेड विद पॉजिटिव पीपल फ्रेंड्स फैमिली एनी बडी हु सपोर्ट्स यू एंड मोटिवेट्स यू टूवर्ड्स योर गोल एंड हु लाइक इंस्पायर्स यू और गिव्स यू अ रीजन टू स्टडी मोर टू अचीव अ गुड रैंक एंड अल्टीमेटली बिकम दैट प्रोफेशनल सो येस यू शुड सराउंड विद पॉजिटिव पीपल ओनली इफ यू इफ यू फील समबडी इज नेगेटिव और एनी थिंग प्लीज ट्राई टू अवॉइड दैम नाउ नाउ दैट देर आर ओनली टू मंथ्स आफ्टर टू मंथ्स यू कैन लाइक सॉर्ट इट आउट लेटर इट वॉन्ट मैटर आई कैन गारंटी दैट आई हैव अन इंस्टॉल्ड माई वॉट्सएप एंड स्टिल आई एम नाउ आफ्टर नीड आई एम इन टच विथ एवरीबडी सो इट वॉन्ट मैटर इन द लॉन्ग रन इफ दे आर योर ट्रू फ्रेंड्स और योर ट्रू सपोर्ट लाइक यू वॉन्ट मिस एनी लाइक यू वॉन्ट everybody will stay in touch with you after your need to they like yes so abhi ke liye just be surrounded with a few selected people who motivate you and support you then while studying and solving anything anything related to need you should use all of your mind's energy and focus only on it it should be 100% uh For example, if I'm starting a topic, and beach me if I get a thought of uh, like my internship or कुछ anything related to that, either I should take a ten minutes break that time and sort it out or solve it. But if thinking and uh, analyzing the problem won't give me the solution, then I should let it go and study properly. Either you can solve it, then think and solve that. issue which is going in your mind if you can't solve it let it go uh, and uh, if it can wait for 2 months please uh, let it go and 2 mahine ke baad dekh lenge kya karna hai uske bare mein then uh, yes you have to be away from any social media which is not favoring your preparation anything like instagram if you are wasting time on instagram then kindly uninstall it do maine hi hai you can install it back later with more energy theek hai abhi there is no time for wasting time now uh, what all to read revise and solve most 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 important is your notes so last two months mein you have to read your notes at least two times try to read it at least two times so that uh, whatever you read gets imprinted in your mind and during the exam it is easier to recall re revise your notes very 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 important notes should be like uh, in your mind like when you read that question related to that topic the topic page should come in your mind aisa aisa padhai hona chahiye then pearls if you have bookmarked your pearls please revise bookmarked pearls if you haven't bookmarked still uh, you can uh, just uh, see the pearls in the night or whenever you get tired of your notes then bookmarked mcqs bookmark mcqs also if you haven't still bookmarked or solved any mcqs i would say first start with previous year questions solve those previous year questions then solve only important and must know topics of uh, short subjects first and then of the major subjects previous year questions actually i had seen videos on e medicos app because my video memory is stronger so i use that i watched videos more uh, than uh, solving mcqs 
then if you have screenshot any uh, screenshotted any images uh, go through them or any pdfs which you feel uh, if you have many many pdfs then uh, go through all the pdfs and then in the end shortlist which pdfs you will need to read it again uh now so for mcqs you have to solve one gt every saturday because most probably your exam will be on a saturday actually i haven't seen the date so ha huh, a uh, day but yes our exam was on saturday so the day your exam is uh, that day saturday or sunday you have to solve one gt every week and review it on the same day please review it on the same day it is okay if you don't give a live gt it is very very fine but you have to review it on the same day because reviewing on the same day saves your time because you remember the question so it is uh, faster uh, to review and yes no gt in march is what i would say because i don't want your it your score or your rank in the end to affect your preparation or boost or uh, lose confidence because that is not the final rank your neat pg score can improve definitely if you uh, work work 1001 person more Yes so if you still haven't solved any question bank mcq start with must know topics first of the short subjects uh, mainly after reading the notes of that subject and then of the major subjects uh, right now there is no time for no or new information because you won't be able to retain and recollect that in the main exam so better is to read your uh, handwritten notes if you have made already uh, so read and reread your notes uh and uh, you know new information doesn't mean that you don't have to read previous uh, questions if you haven't ever solved or read them you have to have to do previous your uh, questions yes what to eat now uh, you have to fo- focus mainly on your studies and anything which boosts and uh, helps you in that direction so yes having waking up early is a good thing Uh, eating healthy is a good thing so what all can you eat uh, you have to eat mainly food which is light and uh, which helps in memory and uh, which doesn't make you feel lazy like you have to avoid sugar uh, fatty food or any uh, calorie rich fo- food or fast food please avoid that uh, Yes so you should mainly avoid those kind of food and uh, yes i've made a list of uh, food which help in uh, for your mind to work faster so dry fruits almonds mainly nuts fruits in fruits blueberries tomatoes orange apple plum broccoli spinach and basically all the green, green leafy vegetables and fruits uh, pumpkin seeds turmeric uh, i turmeric is my favorite because i used to drink turmeric milk in the morning and uh, also in the night before sleeping milk helps you uh, to sleep too you know that right uh, so uh, drinking milk turmeric milk before sleep it also helps you calm and uh, sleep better then dark chocolate green tea oatmeal now how to end each day uh yes how you start your day is also important i have put a daily routine video but yes how you end your day it also helps you to uh, use your next day more productively so yes uh before ending the day i think this will take you about 20 minutes so before ending the day you should have the next day ka micro planning like what will you do at what time approximately it should be planned for the next day and the uh, and the subject that you are going to read tomorrow for example if i read surgery tomorrow i will keep my surgery book open on my desk with the stationery if i need anything uh, or whichever i use while reading it should be ready for the next day so that the next day when i wake up i just have to wash my face and start studying so that i don't waste my time uh, searching for that book or anything because morning time was the most productive time for me so no wasting that time which is uh, the most productive part of your day 
yes sleep sleep is very important so uh, yes there there are days when you are not able to sleep because of uh, excessive thoughts about how your exam will go or whether you will be able to achieve that dream rank or a score which you want it is fine but uh, always keep in mind that if you read uh, if your day in your day you have read uh, up to your expectations you will be able to sleep better so always try to sleep satisfied that you have made good use of that day you have read something which will get you closer to your dream score or your rank so always try to uh, utilize that day and it is also fine if you haven't if you aren't satisfied with that day's study but yes you have to keep in mind that tomorrow you have to compensate for that try to compensate for your loss that day for your worries you have to learn and make it a habit eventually to surrender to god nature or any one or anything that you believe in higher force anything that you believe in you have to learn to surrender because surrendering will keep you calmer and it will uh, relieve you of your anxiety and stress then uh, most important it is to remember and try to visualize your dream uh, college you in your dream college in your dream branch uh, or people uh, congratulating you or uh, your family and friends being happy for you, you for your dream rank uh, so try to visualize it and uh, how your that how your need preparation for these two months can uh, lead uh, to a better uh, life which you want for the next 50 years of your life so try to remember that and uh, strengthen your intention on your purpose ki why you want to do what you are doing and for that you have to study hard to get a good rank for ultimately getting that branch and later for the life that you want praying yes at least 5 minutes close your eyes and try to pray uh, to anyone or anything that you believe in uh, pray to god for uh, giving you more power strength and positivity and everything that you desire to study smarter and to solve more easily for pray to god for good intuition on whatever you want and last is deep breathing till you sleep yes i used to breathe deeply and uh, like my i used to listen to my own uh, breathing till i slept matlab it would make me sleep so that has helped me to sleep more better and deeper Uh, and yes i have written what is uh, is that intention is nothing without action so yes even if you study a lot uh, and solve a lot but if you are unclear with why you are studying that uh, then it won't matter much matlab you won't get the results eventually then and also action is nothing without intention and direction so yes you should have a proper intention and work towards that intention and uh, purpose and that goal so last 50 days are very very important so even this is mainly for people who uh, whose scores aren't improving or who uh, some people are still uh, confused whether they will crack it this time or next time uh, mainly for them it is that even you if you haven't studied much it is fine or you think you have studied but your scores aren't improving it is fine you still have 50 days and uh, these are the end days of your preparation so 
uh, how you work and how much you study and how much you give your heart and soul and everything into it it will show definitely show in your main final exam so uh, it is fine if you haven't studied up to the mark or that much that you wanted but i would say that please target this coming neat uh, 2022 uh, because why do you want to study again for the next year try to st- make full use of these two months and i literally guarantee if you give your heart and soul and everything into it uh, your scores and ranks will definitely definitely improve first make it clear ki you want to crack it this time and work 1000% uh, well in a proper guidance and a direction proper direction so thank you all the best study smart and uh, have faith in yourself and your preparation